Well. Well. Welcome back to our year. YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is a day late. Very sorry, but yesterday was kind of crazy. Are you tired? I feel like I'm always yawning in it's the opening scene. It's 2 o'clock p.m. It's 2 o'clock p.m. 2, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. <laughs> Anyways, yesterday was kind of crazy because Jack's mom came home from the Philippines and they went to the airport and her flight got in early so they left and I was filming a wedding and so it was kind of crazy. Yeah. We could have been home for the summer for sure. months, which is going to be fun. Yes, we're so excited. And then, then your dad gets here in like a month. Yeah, right? my dad's coming in two weeks. Two weeks? Okay. He's never met Tommy either, which is so insane to me. But she's still tiny and little, so. Anyways, this video is going to be interesting. We have no idea how it's going to turn out. We don't know. We just want to read to you guys just funny comments that we get on our TikTok. Yes. So the caption of this is probably going to be... Reading mean comments. Reading mean <laughs> comments. I would say... Not just mean. We'll read all... We'll just read a bunch of different kind of comments. But most yeah. of them on our last video were mean. Yeah, we can... Yeah, we've been getting roasted lately. So, here's the thing. Ever since we started doing TikTok, we've been getting these random followers that don't actually know us. So, they just troll us on every social media platform there is, wouldn't you say? Yeah. YouTube is the nicest platform. We always say that. And um, Instagram's super nice. But TikTok, man, these guys are ruthless. So... We're gonna kind of get into some of the comments that we've been getting, just so you guys are aware of the things that people say about us. Just so us. you know, it doesn't like affect us. It doesn't. We don't care oh, yeah. what they say. Kind of gets a little more riled up than me. I get riled up when it has to do with Tommy, but I sometimes, which is not a good thing, but like over DM on Instagram, like I'll reply to some people to like, I don't know, defend myself, which yeah. is also stupid. But, but anyways, these let's are just get into some it. Good comments we'll read. This is from our last. TikTok. This is our last TikTok. If Go you look at it, it for reference. Yes. Well, who knows when they're watching it, but it's one titled Dad of the Year. It's got like 2 million views. So people think it's funny, but some people did not think it was funny. Basically, Jack, I he was watching the Jaws game, and I put Tommy down next to him and said, will you watch her? But it wasn't Tommy. It was a stuffed animal in a blanket. And I basically asked him like a couple times, is Tommy okay? Is Tommy asleep? And he's like, yeah, yeah, good, great. And it was just funny. Okay, but this is scary. And then there's a whole thread of comments replying to this. Yeah, first one says, Because a parent needs to be able to be trusted to watch their own kid. He didn't even take one look at her. Parents normally would know it wasn't their baby when they felt it. It was too light and squishy, but he didn't notice or look. <laughs> I didn't even pick up the teddy bear set. You didn't, you didn't even look at the teddy bear. Babies often suffocate from that. I mean, that's true, but it wasn't a baby. <laughs> okay, is that enough okay. on that, or do you have any more on there? Because mm. I have some on OMG, here. Dilf, hot dilf, hot. Yeah, okay, those comments about like, oh my gosh, hot dilf, hot dilf, can I marry your husband? Okay, but he's hot. No, you can't marry my husband. That's the, one of the dumber questions I've ever heard in my life. And I'll just probably block you if you say that. Oh, this one's good. So you have two children. <laughs> true. That's good. That's true. That is very true. Okay, so let's move on to another TikTok. Deal? So there was a little trend going around that Jack and I were doing. It wasn't a trend going around, it was basically like something that we kept doing. It was where Tommy would be like in Jack's jacket doing funny things, and those were like our funniest videos, so we just kept doing them. And then one time I was like, I want to try it, so I like tried it with Tommy, and basically like she was screaming the whole time, and it was super funny. But like this was pretty set up, like we kind of riled Tommy up because we thought it would be funny if she was crying She was in my laughing jacket. before and after. I had I just so the screaming part. many people tell me that... They could see the look in my face that I was going through postpartum depression and that I was like suicidal. So these comments are just insane. Let me find them. It says, mom, she can sense your tension. Don't give up. I'm sure you're great. I promise you it always won't be like that. No matter what, take care of yourself. Postpartum depression can be very difficult. She maybe is picking up on your aura. You're doing great, stay strong. This is my biggest fear ever. I teared up over this. Make sure mom's all right. All jokes aside, postpartum is real. Okay, but for real, postpartum happens, and if she's struggling with a bond with her child, it'll make it worse. She looks genuinely sad and frustrated. She won't admit this, but this breaks her heart. This mom looks like she's really building resentment here. I know this isn't her fault, but be careful being too happy about that dad. Mom was clearly hurt by this. Clearly. Everyone was saying Jack was a bad dad because he was laughing at me while Tommy was crying in the jacket. Postpartum depression is so real. I didn't really experience that, but I understand that it's so real and these people are nice. But also like I got a hundred people on Instagram DMing me like suicide hotlines and I'm like, okay, this is a lot. You don't know me or anything. And the video is like four seconds long. 
So that was funny. And I don't get why they see something in your eyes. You're laughing. I know. They were like, I can see the resentment in her eyes. And there was like 23,000 likes on that comment. I'm like, oh, resentment? <laughs> okay, here's another one. This one is where Tommy and I are sleeping in this bed right here. Jack comes in, grabs the phone, and he's like, golf, golf simulator, golf, golf trip, boys trip. Just telling Siri all these things so that I'll know what to get him for Christmas. Pretty much, right? Yeah. I got a million comments on this about, please learn the ABCs of safe sleeping for babies. First of all, during the day, Tommy and I are just chilling. There's no blanket over her face or anything. Also, if you want to co-sleep, that is totally fine. It says, for all the Karens, your, va your family is very cute and I love watching your videos, but co-sleeping is so bad for a newborn and can lead to SIDS. They need to sleep separately or even in the other room. They are too close to be sleeping together. And like, is, yeah, I don't really have any words about that. That's just like interesting to me. People can like judge how we parent, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's roll over to Instagram really quick. We might bounce back to TikTok, but we'll just see what happens. We um, had a flat tire on the freeway when I was in the car with Brooklyn and her husband and both the babies. It was so scary, but Corey like safely got us over to the side of the freeway and um, it was like scary. Like it was like rush hour and everything and Jack and Steve came and they were like fixing the tire and everything and Brooklyn and I were sitting in the car. We're not gonna get out of the car with our babies to stand on the side of the freeway and potentially get hit. So Jack and Steve parked behind us so that if someone like were to hit us, they would hit their car first. Someone wrote me and said, not trying to be one of those annoying people. Everybody says that. But it's a good idea to get out of the car and as far away from the car as possible to somewhere safer. And I'm like, okay, girlfriend, if I were able to get out of the car and go and sit under a tree, I would have, but we're on the freeway. So you don't know the situation, you know what I mean? I said something nice, super back. And then she goes, well, you're right, I really had no business. I was just scared for you. <laughs> I'm like, a comment that says, you need to definitely fix her straps. And this girl had been like trolling me for a while, so I just replied and said, no thanks. And she said, you should follow safety precautions with a baby. Didn't mean to offend. Saying no thanks to baby safety is cool, I guess. And I said, she's just fine. And she replied and said, wouldn't it wouldn't be if you guys got in an accident and that's why you shouldn't move her straps up to protect her. Dumb A. I'm like, you said didn't mean to offend. And look at the account name. It's just somebody like... Trolling us. And then she says, didn't mean to offend early on. And then she calls us a swear word. And I'm just like, okay, girl, you're having a bad day. All right. We're at a family. We're at a family. Okay, so this little background on this comment. We were at a family party. Just my siblings. What was it? Five of us. My five brothers in St. George. Anyways, we filmed a little bit of it. And we get this comment on our next post amazing no masks no social distancing my last time here it's because of young people like you that this horrid virus does not disappear do you hear that there's a pandemic and seatbelts either way so irresponsible goodbye Adios. goodbye <laughs> like, please never ya. come back i know that people don't want to see their families and stuff but that's not us we saw our families yeah so that was a risk we could take, we, and we're we able to do it. that. And Don't you guys... come comment on our channel that you're leaving. Just leave. And then the seatbelt comment. And I was and wearing my seatbelt. Look, this is a picture of the comment. Look at my seatbelt right there. You can see my acne right there and my seatbelt right there. And her comment says, and no seatbelts either. So irresponsible. Anyways, we love all you guys and your nice comments, but we're just reading some funny bad ones that just don't make any sense, to be honest. And I feel like if you comment something about somebody's life and they respond, I don't get why they're offended. Cause they always are offended when you respond. I don't understand that. Like don't come at somebody and then not have any backbone. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, this was a good Wait, one. I'm yawning again. Oh my gosh, of course. So this is back to December and um, I was driving to workout class super early in the morning. It was a snowy day, but there's a snowy day every day in Utah in the winter. So not a big deal and I'm driving and it was like such a pretty morning and like no one was on the road and they had like this cute sign that said happy holidays and I was filming it and I was at a stoplight and I just like did a little pan out up, posted on my story, went to my workout class, came home and I had a DM that said, if I were ever a mother, I would never drive with my baby in the snow. I can't believe what kind of mother you are. And I'm just like, girl, let me just tell you, <laughs> like, first of all, first off, we drive an Good truck, a good truck in the snow. Yeah. It's four wheel drive. We live in Utah. It's not like we're going to hibernate for six months. We would months. have to stop driving for three yes. or four months. Like, 
And the best part was I wasn't even with Tommy. She was not in the car she with me. She was at home with me. She was at home. Like, you don't know anything about me or my situation or where I'm at. And the fact that someone would be like, if I were a mother. And I'm like, girl, you're not a mother. So why are you mom shaming me? You know what I mean? Anyways, Sports Center just wrote us to post one of our TikToks. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Jack's so hyped right now. That's kind of lit. Hey. Sports Center. That was Jack's excitement about me posting that TikTok, even though it made him look like a bad dad. Great, I'm gonna get roasted even harder on there. 20 million people. Okay, another comment that I got, I remember three weeks after Tommy was born, we went to Arizona, which is like a 45 minute flight from here. And um, we had to go. And so we went and it was fine. And I was healthy and I had healed from my birth and Tommy was perfectly fine. So we went um, on an airplane and flew to Arizona for work. And I got absolutely reamed. There's people saying I would never have a job that made me travel with a baby i would never do put all my this baby put risk. my baby at risk and all this stuff and we're like what do you mean if you're a nurse you go to the hospital and work and you're at way higher risk you go if you're a bank teller you go to the bank and people yeah. come in and you're at risk we just had to travel we have to travel for our job and, and it's like that's how we make money that's how, that's how we, how we that's make our money. living yeah literally so the <sighs> fact that people were like i would just never do that job i would quit in a second like no you wouldn't that's your you life would. that's your life and your job and you can't yeah. do anything about it and I remember I got this specific DM that said, how could you ever bring a maskless newborn child on an airplane? That's not even allowed <laughs> and you're so baby. irresponsible. I was like, okay, first of all, babies don't wear masks. Second of all, my kid is totally fine. She's healthy. If she wasn't healthy, I wouldn't be taking her on a um, work trip yeah. with us. And, and anyways, it's just funny when we, like people do that because we are the parents. We love Tommy more than anybody in the whole world. We would do nothing to put her in harm's way. And so these people that think that they have the right to tell us how to parent is so interesting. I never understood it until we became parents. It It's nuts. It gets really bad. Another mean comment I got on Instagram the other day was just baffling. But this was a DM she sent me a while ago, but she sent me another DM. So I saw the one above and it was so mean. It was like in the peak of my acne. And I just, and I basically posted a story that said, hey, like, like uh, this acne is driving me crazy. There's not much I can do because I'm nursing. Um, so I'm just going to like have to deal with it. And she writes me back and says, your acne is getting out of control. You keep saying you can't do anything about it, but I promise you there's ways you can fix it while you nurse. Girl, get out of our comments. <laughs> can you believe that? Sheesh, yeah, that was bad. I, I'm like, you think I like having acne on my face? Do you think it's like fun for me? Do you think I like looking like a pepperoni pizza? No, but it's just like, it is life and it is what it is. And if I can't get on Accutane or other like hard medication, then... I can't do that. And it's like, obviously there's something I could be doing more of, then I'm gonna do it. It's not your business. <laughs> Holy cow, that I'm one like, was bad. that one was so that bad. That one made me angry. None of these other ones really affect us, but that one was, I was like, don't Girl. ever comment again. Seriously. This is just awesome, love this. I've been sharing about how I've been counting macros. You guys, if you follow our channel, you know that. Um, definitely not perfect in it, and I'm super transparent about the fact that I don't track my macros like every single day strictly um but when i do post about anything literally this is a picture of a flower this girl replied and said i just want to mention how triggering it can be for people with eating disorders when you talk about counting your macros people counting their calories and intakes is exactly what causes eating disorders and hearing you talk to talk about it makes people feel like they have to count first of all very sensitive i'm very sensitive to people with eating disorders and that's like probably the hardest thing one of the harder things you could go through and i would never say all of you have to count macros count your calories all you're doing is saying what you do to stay healthy yeah and stay active and what's interesting about the whole thing is counting macros makes me eat more don't mm -hmm. you say yeah you like, upped your calories i up my calories by like 700 so if i don't count my ca count my macros then um i'm usually not eating enough and that's mainly the reason why and it's like helping me keep my milk supply up by eating enough fats and knowing what foods have healthy fats in them which is like totally up to me and my lifestyle choice. So this girl making me feel like I'm not allowed to talk about my health journey. I'm like, please. This girl wrote me, I don't even know if I showed you this, on a picture of Tommy, replied to like a cute selfie of her and said, um, her birthmark is getting more noticeable. Cry face, cry face, cry face. That makes me literally want to never post a photo of Tommy again because people have like the nerve to say something like that. The way she said it with like cry face is like it's such a horrible thing that Tommy has a birthmark on her face. I'm like, she's perfect and I think the birthmark is so freaking cute. Okay, I got another DM that said I posted a picture of like a grocery haul 
Um, and I got a bunch of DMs, but this one specifically just says so much plastic with like three crying faces. And I replied and said, I said, people can make their own decisions on plastic use, which obviously I don't want to use a lot of plastic, but there's no markets around here that just sell fruit and vegetables. Like, obviously I could do more, but I was buying like, <laughs> I was buying zoodles that were pre-made and I don't want to make them myself. I don't have a zoodle maker. So I had to buy them and they were in plastic and that's what she was so mad about. She said, LOL, not really. Like we're all on the same planet. There's no decision about, there's no decision to make about plastics. Our environment isn't a political opinion. Our, our environment isn't a political topic. I said, if I want to buy zoodles that are pre-made, I'm gonna need to buy plastic. I'm just sorry and it's how it is sometimes. <laughs> I'm so stupid for replying to people, but I just can't. This is so good. So I, if you guys follow us, which, sorry, I keep saying that, but I think you guys follow us on Instagram. I hope you follow us on Instagram. If you don't, make sure you do. But I post a lot about Tommy's swimming progress in her lessons. And basically, Three people have sent my story of her like being dunked underwater and swimming to someone else but accidentally sent it to me being like, are you kidding me? And anyways, I have a screenshot of this girl saying, this is interesting to my story. And then she replied and said, um, meant to send this to my little sis. She has a baby, lol, with a heart. <laughs> I'm like, sure, I bet you were. Good save, sis. <laughs> Everybody on our last TikTok is like, I'm team dad. If there would have been a noise, he would have helped her. <laughs> What's one of the ones that says, you should divorce him? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one girl said, I know this is a joke, but you should definitely divorce him. He doesn't care about his child. I'm like, okay. okay. See ya. Jack usually has thick skin, but this TikTok for some reason is really like no, getting too it's... emotional. This is like a sensitive topic, obviously, but like I basically, someone posted um, on our assumptions page on our assumptions tab and we posted a YouTube video talking about like assumptions about us and someone said you're pro-life. Actually like a billion people were like you're pro-life and that we were like yeah we are pro-life and that's our decision and we have reasons for being pro-life. Anyways, this girl sends me a random DM on Instagram not replying to anything just like an, a DM alone and says absolutely unfollowing. Can't believe you're pro-life. That is so upsetting. And I'm just like okay. Yeah. Well. That's your decision and that's my decision and for you to like take the time out of your day to go search my profile and send me a message like this, I'm just like, just unfollow me, you don't have to tell me you're unfollowing me, you know what I mean? Also, we can all follow each other and have different views and there's no problem with that, you know what I mean? So, but I mean, if you only want to follow people that think like you do, then... It really broaden your horizon. Yes, <laughs> I feel bad because you're yeah. probably not going to follow a lot of people. <laughs> Anyways. Well, that is enough for today. We should do another series of this. We'll start taking more screenshots of the mean comments. Yeah, we'll save them better. Anyways, thanks for watching. These comments really don't bug us. We nope. just thought they're funny, so we just thought we'd show you some of them. Yes, and, and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Yes. Oh, we're going on a fun trip this week, though. Oh yeah, we're actually going to Cleveland and then straight to Palm Springs, and then we have an overnighter that we're taking for ourselves. Oh yeah. Um, here in Utah, what we're pumped about. So. Anyways, like we said, subscribe, like, all the things, and we love you guys, and thank you for watching our channel and being patient with us because we are a day late on this video. Yes. Oops. Bye. See ya.